16 years ago. Where is the crying coming from? It's so annoying. Gosh, I need to get rid of that nose. It ruined my beautiful day. Oh gosh, it's a baby left out here in the middle of the park. Can't stand kids, they're so stupid. Oh God, it's raining. I have to go. Wait, I just can't leave the baby behind. Gotta bring this baby somewhere. Maybe orphanage. At the orphanage. Hey, I just found him at the park, and I don't really know what to do. I guess this orphanage will take him. But I have no room for any other kids. I can't take him. I can't take him either. I don't know anything about kids. Are you serious? There's got to be another option. I'm not taking them either. Either you just take the kid or just leave him somewhere else. It's up to you. Whatever. I guess I will deal with this. Okay. Do what you gonna do. Present day. Gosh, why is this house so big? I can never end these chores. Oh, oops. My bad. Look like I dropped something. Haha. <laughs> hey, what the F, Peter? Why don't you pick it up, Will? Ugh, I have been working to clean this area all day. Stop bullying me around. Do you hear yourself talk? It's so pathetic. Why don't you shut up? What's your problem? My problem is that you exist. Yeah, you have to live with that, dude. I live here, you know. I'm not gonna be here for long. I'm gonna be adopted someday, you're not. Who would ever want to adopt you? Oh yeah, you should look in the mirror, man. Your attitude is insane and brainless. No one will adopt you. What did you just say about me? You don't know anything. Just shut up and clean the floor. Why don't you make me, huh? You're so mean. I mean, you just hit me, that hurt. That's it, I'm gonna call Lila. Not Lila again. I don't know why everybody treats me like this. I need to go somewhere to avoid her face. I hope I will have my own family. The next day. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Call us Brayden. Mr. and Mrs. Brandon. Welcome to the orphanage. How can I help you? We were hoping to find a child to adopt. But look like we're not gonna really be able to find one here. Yeah, honey. I'm not too sure about this place. Oh, don't worry. We got some great kids that need a nice loving home. My wife and I have a huge fortune. We're looking to share it with a new child. He's right. Who will be the lucky child? Hi, what's going on? My name is Will. Oh my god. What is this? Is this a child? Phew, what's that smell? I just was hoping that you guys want to adopt me. That's all. Haha, <laughs> adopt you. Absolutely not. I'm sorry. You just won't fit into our lifestyle. I mean look at us. We're stylish and charming. You guys are horrible. I don't want to be part of your family anyway, either. Oh my, Will, you're so disrespectful. Get out of their sight. Fine. No wonder why that kid has been here for so long. Nobody wants to adopt him. <laughs> Why are they so mean? Why does nobody want me? Oh look, Will, look. What do I suppose to look? Look at my happy face when Will cries. Boo hoo. Just leave me alone, dude. Honestly, I just don't know how you do it. What are you talking about? We all want the same thing here. Be adopted. Be adopted? You? I just don't understand why you think you're gonna be adopted. You're pathetic, ugly, and nobody ever wants you. That's not true. I'm a good person. And the right family is out there for me, okay? My real parents are still out there. Yeah, and your real parents left you. I don't know. Perhaps they're out there looking for me. Maybe something happened. In your dream, they're coming to find you. No one is looking for you, Will. Okay, just me alone then. Don't bother me. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs>
It was so fun anyway. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything all day now. Lila won't let me eat either. What should I do now? I don't want to do this, but if I don't, I will starve to death. Okay, I have to act normally just like a buyer. Oh goodness, look at the food. Gosh, this is so illegal. What do you think you're doing? I'm just heading home, sir. You think I'm stupid? I saw you. Please, have a heart. I'm just an abandoned kid. I need something to eat right now. I'm starving. Yeah, yeah, you said it like 50 times. There will be no more chances for you. What? This is my first time here. I think you mistake with someone. But you're still a thief. And I'm just a man trying to run business. Now pay for the food or leave it back. Oh gosh. Hey, stop. Get back here. Hey, watch where you're going, dude. Oh god, hey man, I'm sorry. I need a place to hide. Um, okay, sure. Go in here. Thank you so much. Hey kid, where is he going? I think he go that way. You should be faster. Hey, he's gone. You can come out now. Thanks, man. That was a close one. I really appreciate it. Why was that guy looking for you? Yeah, I made a bad decision. I stole his food from his store. If you want food, I could always help you with that. I have got plenty of food at my place. Come on, I will show you my place. That would be great. Here it is. This is my place. Oh wow, you built this on your own? Um, yeah, kinda. What people don't use anymore, I use them back. Old stuff. Cool. Here, take this. Thanks. So what happened back then? You can tell me specifics. Gosh, I don't know. Come on, man. You're here eating my food. At least you could tell me do is tell me who you are. You're right. I'm sorry. I just don't like to complain about life. Well, that's a good attitude you have. I'm Will, by the way. I'm Jake. Good to meet you. Tell me about your life. My life has been pretty tough, you know. My parents abandoned me when I was a little kid. An old man found me in the middle of the park and sent me to the orphanage. I have lived there ever since. Wow, no family. That must be tough to you. I hope someday I will find my real family. Listen, I have lived on the streets for years. I don't have a family, either. And I'm just doing fine, though. Really? You have been on your own the whole life? True. It's not easy at all but I know I gotta be strong and never give up. Wow, I don't know if I have the strength to do that. The orphanage hasn't been easy though. People always make fun of me like a lot. Steal stuff from me, too. If you don't like living there, why don't you just leave? If I'm okay out here, I think you can do it too. But if I leave, I might never find my family. Well, it's your choice if that's the best for you. Okay. The next day. Hey Will, guess what? What? I got adopted, haha. -ha. Good for you, buddy. Yeah, it's really something great. Something you will never experience in your life. You know the best part of my life about this is? You're leaving and I never have to see your face ever again. Whatever, jerk, and you know what? Before I leave, I will leave you something you will never forget. Oh cool, what is it? Lila, Lila. Come here, please. What is it? Before I go, I just wanted to tell you that Will stole the food from the store. And almost got caught. Wait, how did you know that? Is that all true? You're not joking around? I, I can explain. I'm just so happy to get out here, Lila. I don't want to be anywhere near him. He's a criminal. You're so grounded, Will. You do it again and I will throw you away. I hope no parents will adopt you. What? How could you say that? I say what I want to say, okay? Why did you do that, Peter? I have to stay here. That's exactly why I did it. You're gonna stay here for the rest of your poor life. You're awful person, you know. And you're just a pathetic waste of space that nobody ever wants you. Now get out of my way, I have to go with my new parents. Shut up, I'm not done talking to you. 
You're not gonna treat my like this. I'm tired of it. Oh, now all of a sudden, you stood up for yourself? I think you deserve this. Haha, <laughs> you're so pathetic. Stay there, loser. A few days later. Why do I always have to do the chores? I'm so sick of it. Will, you're here. Whose voice sounds like Jake? Will, it's me. Oh, that's really him. Hey, man, what are you doing here? It's nothing, just want to check on you. And see you if you're okay. I will be honest, man. I'm not doing that okay. What's going on? I don't know, it's just been really hard. Dude, the offer still stands. If you want to stay with me, you're always welcome. Thanks, but you know, I want a family. I want to feel like I'm a part of something. If you want to be a family, we can be a family. Like brothers or something. Will, what are you doing out here? You haven't finished the chores yet. Get back inside. Okay, okay, I just take a break. Who are you? Get out of here, you gross homeless kid. Hey, don't treat my friend like that. You have no friends. You should have helped him. I mean, he's homeless. No, I don't need to help anybody. Well, if you want to stay here with this annoying lady, go for it. Or you can come with me and you won't have to see her face again. Think about it, man. I don't know, man. Give me a few days. Okay, see you later. You, go to your room and don't you dare come out. I can't believe that you were that mean, Lila. No one's ever gonna want you so you will not be leaving this place. And you're never gonna find your real parents. Jake's right. I need to get out of here. I can't take it anymore. I'm running out of options. Are you trying to leave? So what? Why do you care? You don't like me anyway. That's right. I don't. But I want to tell you something. There's a family that wants to meet you. Stop kidding around. Don't give me any hope. Just shut up and follow me. Here they are, your new stepdad and stepmom. Hey. Your name is Will, huh? I'm Jones, and this is my wife, Stephanie. It's nice to meet you. I think you're the perfect kid for us. Why don't you come home with us now? I love you. God, I can't believe it. Finally, I have a family. This is our house. Wow, it's really nice. Come inside. I will show you your room. Okay. Wow, I can't believe it. This is everything I have ever wanted in my life. My own bedroom. Well, you have never had your own room before? No, I have never had anything of my own before. So, it's a room, and you're gonna stay here. Do whatever you want, you know. I just want to let you guys know that I'm so grateful. And I'm happy to be part of your family. Yeah, yeah, sure. Why don't you change your clothes and settle in, alright? Okay, great. And hurry up, dinner is gone already soon. I'm so glad that I didn't listen to Jake. I feel like that my life is gonna change. I will change my clothes now. Wow, that's so much better. I will go help my stepmom the dinner too. This boy is gonna work out to my advantage. Will Will's life change or will he make the wrong decision? Will has to follow his stepdad to his working place but... This is the family business, my car dealership. Wow, this is so cool. I can't believe you have owned your business. Well, someone's gotta make money in this family, and it's not gonna my wife, Stephanie. Wow, someday I want my own business just like you. Hey boss, here's the new car. What are you doing? Are you stupid or something? How many times did I tell you that you can't leave the car out here? Put this car in the garage, and make sure no one sees it. Uh, right. Sorry, boss. I'm doing it right away. Stupid fool. Why wouldn't you want to sell that car? It looks really super expensive and nice. Well, we're gonna sell that car, but just not right now. We need to wait a little bit. Why do you have to wait? You're gonna get a ton of money from selling it. We need to wait for someone to bid higher and not publicly, okay? Do you understand it? Are you telling me that you steal cars and pay a higher price? Hey, I don't like that word, steal. 
find another word. But yeah, basically. That's illegal. Why would you do that? Why would I spend money on a car when I can take one and sell it? Because it's not yours. Somebody else worked hard for that car. Huh. You don't understand business, all right? It's all about the profit. I actually might want you to work for me here at the dealership a little bit. No, I don't think I want to. I want to go to school. Oh, you want to go to school and you don't want to help me out? That's fine. You can go back to your orphanage and stay there for the rest of your life. Um dot 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 and oh, I can't go back there. If you don't want to go back there, you will have to work for me. Fine, but I will do it after school, but not stealing cars. I'm not doing it. Okay, that's the deal. Now, you can walk home today. What? Are you serious? Just because I don't want to steal cars for you? Yeah, you're an orphan. You're the perfect person to steal cars. No one cares about an orphan child. If you do your job wholeheartedly, I will give you anything you want. But if you don't, you're just garbage at my house. What? How could you say that? I'm going home. Yeah, go home or go anywhere. I don't care. Oh, Jake, what's up, man? Oh, wow. Look who decided to show up. The day when you offered me to come with you, I was adopted. But I was about to leave with you. Yeah, yeah. Cool story. What are the chances of that happening? No, seriously, I'm telling the truth. You left me alone back there. I was waiting for you. I'm sorry, I could have called you, but I don't have a phone. It all happened so fast. Wow, now you got a family and you're calling me poor too, huh? No, I'm not calling you that. I don't mean to upset you. Yeah, I heard enough. Go home and live your life and I'm gonna live mine, okay? But, uh, you're my only friend I got. No one has been as kind to me as you were. Well, I don't want anything to do with you anymore. You forgot and left me and that's not what friends do. Hey, man, I'm sorry. Just go home. I don't want to hear anything from you anymore. The next day at school. Hey, man, I'm new student. This is my first day at school. Can you take me around this school? Really? The principal just told me to take care of a new student. That's you. I guess. Okay, let's go. I will introduce you to school history. After taking Will around the school. This is so cool. Thank you for all your help. No problem. Wow, who the heck is here? Peter, you're going to school? Obviously, duh. And who let the trash into this school? How dare you talk to me like that? What are you doing here? You don't belong here. Yes, I do. I'm way smarter than you. I'm surprised to even let you in here. Look who's talking. You're just an orphan and barely got adopted. Come on, guys. Don't fight each other. We're in school. Shut up. We're not in the orphanage anymore, and you have to stop bullying me. You're right. We're not anymore, but you can still take this. Hey, stop, guys. I will call the principal. Hey, what is going over here? He started all of this. Mr. Principal, this kid just hit me in the face. I don't know what's wrong with him. You two are both gonna get in trouble. I'm calling your parents. Well, he doesn't know who his real parents are, haha. <laughs> hey, what the heck man, you don't know your real parents too. Stop it right now and go to my office. Kids these days. Unacceptable. Thank you for calling me at the right time. No problem, sir. At home. What the hell were you thinking, you ugly stupid piece of junk? You think you can just go on your first day of school and beat kids up? You got me into trouble, and I hate trouble. Chill out, babe. I don't want you to get mad. It will ruin your pretty face. So, you'd better explain your action right now. I was standing for myself. That guy's always bullying me when we were at the orphanage. Yeah, yeah, I don't buy your story. You would have done the same thing. I'm not gonna apologize for that. Listen, you got me and Stephanie into trouble, and we hate trouble. It will affect to our business. And you know what? We're not gonna buy you any food, 
and you won't go to school either. What? You can't do that. I want to go to school. Well, we don't always get what we want. Learn that. But what am I supposed to do if I'm not going to school? Get a full-time job, and you know what that job is. Dealership. I'm not doing that. I'm not committing crimes. Fine. You're not stealing cars. Just answer the phone or something. Do you know how to be a receptionist? Um, I think. Okay, let's start it tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Okay, you will stand and say hello to the customers. Okay. Okay. What the heck are you doing here? You? Are you following me? Hey, knock it off. I'm not following you. My stepdad owns this place. Hello, welcome to our car dealership shop. How may I help you? Well, my dad and I are here to buy a new car for me. That's right. Choose me a new one. This is fantastic. I have just one brand new for you. But I don't want this loser to sell us the car. Maybe I don't want to sell you a car. What's going on? Are you insulting my son? You little piece of junk. I won't stand here and listen to this stupid disrespect kid. Calm down, sir. I will tell him to go away. I want a car and I don't want him here. Will, get out of here right now. All right, fine. I'm leaving. Okay, he's gone. So, what would you like? Type of car? Dad, I want this car. It suits me. Okay, I will take this car. Perfect choices, sir. It's the whole brand new. He he, they won't know anything. Spare change, please. Can anybody spare some change? Jay, what are you doing out here? It's raining heavily. Why are you pretending like you care about me? Hey, I'm not trying to be nice or something. I really care about you. I want to be your friend. We used to be friends. You made it clear that you don't really care about that. Hey, I have been saving some money. I will help you out. Seriously, you're gonna offer me money? Yeah, I'm doing the best I can and I'm gonna help you. I don't want any of your money. Please, let me help you, I insist. Well, I guess I could use your help. Okay, I got some money hidden in my room. I will be back. Okay, I'll wait for you. What the heck, where is my money? I remembered clearly that I left here. Why are you yelling at my house? Don't you see that I'm trying to relax? My money is gone. Stephanie, did you take it? Oh, the money that you hid under the pillow. That's the stupidest hidden place you can hide your money. Um, yeah, I was saving that money. Where is it? Well, I saw the money I decided to buy something for my own. Are you joking? I earned that money. I can't stand you anymore. I can't stand you either. Maybe adopting you was a bad idea. I can't believe my life would turn out like this. This place is no different from an orphanage. I should have listened to Jake. Will, hey man. Jake, you're here? Yeah, I'm tired of standing in the rain. Look, the money is gone. My stepmother took it away and bought something for her own. I'm sorry. Haha, <laughs> this is so perfect. Why is it perfect? I should have known all along. I shouldn't have counted on you. Don't say that, Jay. I really wanted to help you but my mean stepmom. You gave me hope, dude. And now you talk about your stepmom. I'm really sorry. Wait, Jake. Hey. Where is your stepdad? I need to talk to him right away. He's not here. He's on business. Screw him. You listen to me, little piece of junk. How dare you? Why are you yelling at me? You sold my son a stolen car. No, I didn't sell him anything. Remember that day? I got kicked out. I don't care. You work here and now he's arrested because of you. And now I have to involve him. I hate working with cops. I'm gonna call the cops about this illegal business. This isn't my place. You can do whatever you want. I don't care. You'd better care because you will get a lot of trouble then. You. How dare you do that to me? Get the F out of my house right now. Please, I don't have anywhere else to go. I never wanted you here in the first place. 
Then why did you adopt me? Because Stephanie thought she could use some help. She wanted you to steal cars, not standing at my shop and talking to my customers. Well, I will never do something like that. That's criminal. You will go to jail because of this. I will deal it later. Now get out of my house. Fine, whatever. I have been alone my whole life. Do you think this is new to me? This is how you're meant to live. You're poor, alone, and pathetic. Fine. I'm leaving. I will find my real family. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they left you because you're stupid. Idiot. Haha. <laughs> Get out. After that, Jones and Stephanie got arrested for illegal business. Where should I go now? I can't go back to the orphanage. I think I will go talk to Jake. Hey, Jake. Oh my god, what do you want now? I got kicked out of the house. I actually can't live with them any longer. They're running an illegal business. I don't want to get involved in. Good for you. You're my only hope. I never felt more alone in my whole life, and I'm trying to be strong. But I don't know how long I can hold. Can you forgive me? Well, okay, I forgive you. I missed you, bro. So what are you planning now? Well, I think I'm gonna stay for a while and look for my real parents. Okay. Three months later. Oh wow, look who is here. Still our poor Will. Hey, grow up, Peter. I heard you're homeless now. What's a loser? I'm not a homeless loser. I don't want to be with them so I leave. That's all. Look what are you wearing. It's so pathetic. Who cares, okay? All I care is finding my real family. Just give up. You will never find your real family. Why are you care? What are you doing here actually? I'm just passing by buying some stuff. Get out of my face. What the heck, man? What's a jerk? Hey, leave him alone. Oh god, adult. Thanks for standing up for me. No problem. Are you okay, son? I'm fine. Are you living nearby? Um, I'm homeless, but I do live nearby. Oh, sorry to hear that. No, that's okay. Okay, do you need any help? No, that's more than enough. Thank you, mister. Call me Nathan. Thank you, mister. Nathan. Oh, look at your neck. Um, what's wrong with my neck? Is it bleeding? No, no, you have a birthmark. Um, yeah, I have had it since I was a kid. My lost son had the same birthmark as you. Really? Sorry to hear that. Have you found him yet? Not yet. We're still hoping someday. Well, I wish he could come back soon someday. Thank you, young man. You're a good kid. At the park. Hey, man. I have been looking for you everywhere. Yeah, sorry. I was thinking so I came here. This used to my favorite spot. Really? This is the same park that I was abandoned when I was kid. Seriously? Yeah, and I had a strange conversation with a man today. What were you two talking about? You see my birthmark, right? At the neck? Yeah, what about it? He told me that his lost son had the same birthmark as me and he hadn't found him yet. Weird, huh? Yeah, I know. Is it me he's talking about? I don't know. You go find him and ask again. But where should I find him now? Do you know his name or something? Maybe I can track him. Um, yeah, his name is Nathan. Okay, I will help you to find your parents. Thanks, man, I appreciate it. Hey, honey, do you want to hear story? Of course, babe, what is it? Do you still remember our little boy? Yes, I miss him every day. So the interesting of this story is that I have a conversation with a boy today. And this boy has the same birthmark as our son. Really? Do you think that? Yeah, I think the same as you. We have found our lost son after all those years. I'm not sure if it's him, but there's hope again. I'm so happy, love. I forgot to ask for his name, but I will go find him tomorrow. Just be quick. I don't have much time. I'm sure I will find him and bring him here to you. Two days later. I thought I could see him around here. Why hasn't he come back? Meanwhile with Will and Jake. We need to go to orphanage. What for? We can ask Lila about the photo when you were a little child. 
just in case we have to show the proof. I'm sure your dad will have your photo when they haven't left you. Oh, okay. What are you doing here, Will? Don't tell me you come back here asking for a bed. We run out of room. No, I'm here for the photo you took when I was a baby. What for? Do you have it? I need it, please. I still have it, but I need something in return. Oh, come on. It's just a photo. Why do you need that photo? What was the reason? I want to have it because I want to have memory with you. Oh, please. Give me a break. I think I'm going to throw up. What is the real reason? Okay, fine. I think I find my dad, my real dad. Oh, really? Yes. Why would I lie? Okay, $100 for that photo. What? what? Are you joking, right? Where do we get $100? I don't care. It's none of my business. Gosh, I just have $10 total. No money, no photo. A-G-H-H, god dang it. Let's get out of here, Will. We're wasting our time. Well, this is really a bad idea. Come on, let's go home. I have to wait a little bit more. Hey, old man, give me all the money. Please, sir. I don't have any money. I'm just finding my son. I don't care about your son. Give me all the money now. I won't ask another time. Leave him alone. Thank you for saving me. It's okay. Did he do anything to you? No, you two are just in time to save me. Oh, it's you again. Mr. Nathan, is that you? It's me. I was looking for you. Really? I was looking for you too. Why are you looking for me? It sounds weird, but I think you're my lost son. Really? And I think I'm the lost son. But we have nothing to prove that. Wait, we can still go to the orphanage and ask about the photo. You're right, let's go. What are you talking about? Come on, we don't have time. Now what? You're bothering me. I need that photo. Do you have $100? Of course, you don't. Now go home. Wait, I have. You want $100? I got it. Who are you? I don't accept money from stranger. No, I'm his real father. Really? I don't believe you. Just give us the photo and you know we're not telling lie. Okay, but give me $100 first. Here. Oh my god, it's really you. I have the same photo of you when you were a baby. Look. The same birthmark at the neck. It's really you, dude. He's not telling lie. So I found my real dad. Yes, son. I'm your real father. Dad, um, I'm so happy. I'm happy too, son. But we need to go home first. We need to see your mom. Okay, dad. Let's go, Jake. Um, I don't think I will go with you. What are you talking about? Come on, let's go. It's your family. You found them. I'm happy for you. Truly, I am. We don't have time. We need to go. Your mom is really sick. Just go. We will talk later. Okay, I will come back for you. I promise. At home. Hey, sweetie, how are you feeling now? I don't know. Have you found our son yet? I do. I have found him. Let's me see him, please. We'll come in here, son. Hey, mom. <laughs> oh, my God. Will, is that really you? Yes, it's me, your son. What happened to you? Your mom has been looking for you for years and one day, she suddenly fell off on the street. Luckily she was taken to the hospital on time. The doctor said she got cancer. Oh god, I'm so sorry to hear that. Forget about my cancer, we should celebrate that we have found you. I'm so happy that we found you. Me too, mom. You don't know how much effort and desire I want to find you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy that we can finally be reunited. Now I can be relaxed. What, mom? No, no. What are you talking about? Honey? Mom, please wake up. No, no, please. I just got you back. You can't go. No, mom, please. 
Wilt, she's gone. I'm sorry. No, why? Why did they treat me like this? Am I not supposed to be happy?